Mike here from Silas, being silly as usual. And I'm here to show you my Dean Razorback 255. So, uh, this being one of the, of all the collection of guitars that we have, this is definitely one of the less unique, uh, one of the more well-known. Um, so I'm going to keep it pretty brief because most people have, have seen these already. But uh, it's a nice guitar with some cool features, so uh, I'm going to share them with you today. Uh, obviously the Dimag Daryl signature model. Um, Dimag was a big influence on me when I was getting into metal and stuff, and he's easily one of my favourite guitar players, so that was part of what inspired me to get it, of course. Um, also, I love it. I, you know, the, the, this particular model is, is called um, Dime Slime, this particular paint job. Um, it, it's like, it looks like it's emerged from the jungle in order to allow you to create sweet tones. Um, so, yeah, I love how colourful and bright it is. Um, the, the shape obviously sticks out all over the place. It's based on Dean's ML uh, model, except that they've made all the edges, they've taken the axe to the wetting stone and, and made all the edges sharp, pointy and, and dangerous and, and weaponized it. Hence uh, Razorback. So, um, yeah, it's quite a big guitar. Um, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm quite a small guy, but this is, I think it would look big on, on just about anyone, unless maybe you're Pete from Zocalo. Um, so, it, it, yeah, big but quite light, which is, which is nice. So, We've got uh, 24 frets and a nice V-profile neck. So instead of the neck being that kind of shape, it's, it's like that, which I find really, really comfortable. Um, you know, everything just kind of slides nice and easily around the shaft. So, uh, yeah, we've got these nice arrowhead inlays and, and um, this cool, a nice little touch, the, the razor in the middle here on the 12th fret, nice tribute to dime. Yeah, we've got... Floating tremolo system. This is uh, not an official Floyd Rose, but licensed by Floyd Rose. Basically the same design, except that the tremolo arm screws straight in instead of having a screw-on cap. The pickups are EMGs, um, active pickups. That's an 81, that's an 85. Uh, powered by this battery compartment. Well, the battery that goes in the battery compartment there. And controlled by these knobs. We've got uh, one tone control for both of them and obviously each has its own volume with these cool uh, rings that have been melted in um, and they look unique and you've got a nice bit of extra grip for those quick volume changes on stage, so that's handy. So these being active pickups, got really hot, high output, uh, awesome metal tones, that's, that's definitely what the guitar was designed for. Um, so I'll show you a bit of what it sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's about it for this one. One of my favourites. I hope you've enjoyed this. We've got a few more videos to come about uh, with the rest of our guitars. Um, as always, thanks for your support and we'll see you in the next video.